Welcome back to Undisputed, y'all. From Oxford to Seattle and now in L.A., we've got a very special guest with us in studio. Skip, I know you are pumped. I Take am. it away. <laughs> Welcome to Undisputed. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you. Here's the irony of this for me. I'm looking across the table at a man <laughs> who was you before you to me. <laughs> And I covered him, and he was big and strong and fast and flexed out as he was called a tight end, but he wasn't really a tight end <laughs> because he was the first real big, strong, fast wide out. And all of a sudden, you come along, and Shannon was 6'2", 215-ish? 228. Two, oh, 228. I was thinking you, you, by the end well, of the year, you Well, when I, started, I came in as a wide receiver yeah. at 227, and yeah. by the time they moved me to tight end, I had the lost weight. I played probably like at 210, 212. My okay, that's what I thought. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but, but let's do 220-ish. Yes. So, so yes. And here you come. <laughs> so, well, you're listed at 6'4", 235. Are you in that ballpark? Yes, sir. That's okay. exactly what I'm and you run four three three, and it's just not fair because it's not human, right? <laughs> so, what is your response to what you saw in him the first time you gazed upon this? Specimen? Well, the first time I saw him, I saw him, and I think AJ they were on uh, had a punch on IG, and somebody posted, it, and I said it's Photoshop. Cause they ain't no way in hell of a man that big <laughs> looked like that. I thought it was photo. I really did. I thought it was Photoshop. Yeah. And I was like, nah, he's really like that. So I. Starting it now, it's like, as more things started to come out, I'm like, I'm like, how can he play? But when you watch him and you watch that way, he can dip his hips and he can get in and out of breaks because that's the whole thing with a receiver. Right. I don't care how big, how fast you are. If you can't get in and out of breaks, you can't win in the NFL. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So how much, how much time do you spend in the offseason working on things? Obviously, you and Skip and I, you, we were talking off air about, you know, your conditioning and your lifting and you're trying to make, you know, trying to put on this as much strength as you possibly can. But how much goes into the, the technical side, the route running? Right. Um, I would say that starts like around this time, like okay. uh, like around OTAs. Okay. Um, I had to build a foundation mm -hmm. of, you know, conditioning and strength before I even step foot on the football field okay. to make sure, um, you know, I don't break down, right. um, you know, when I start running routes or going heading into the season. So um, I would say it's, it's like around this time to where I really start focusing on being a receiver. Once the season is over, how much time do you take off, get away from it? I don't do anything. I'm not running. I'm not lifting before you get back into the, the, the guts of it. Yes, sir. I take a month off. And, okay. uh, so this year, um, you know, we lost in the first round of the playoffs. So I took all of February off and then started back working March 1st. Okay. Mm. How about, the, you know, I had you on the podcast last year. You tell me all this bullshit, the Starbucks and the this. Have you changed the diet? It's crazy because after that, after that, I did change. Okay, life. see, I, I got it, change. I got it, y'all, I, I got it. I, it. I, it. Uh, I don't eat as much cans as I used to. Uh, I still dabble a little bit, though. Right. <laughs> you can't cut it all out at one time, but uh, I, I still eat a little bit. Well, you are burning it off. If you're doing what you just talked about doing on a daily basis, yes, sir. It, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. All right, before we go deeper into your NFL thoughts, a quick aside, because we've been talking hoops all day right. because that's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. You did play in the Celebrity All-Star Game this past All-Star Weekend, and you won the MVP of that game. No shock, because you're probably just <laughs> bigger and better than anybody out there, right? What shot do you give these Boston Celtics of making history, coming from 03 down to win it in seven? Uh, I mean, I don't like to put, you know, limitations on anybody. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, anything is possible if, if a team actually puts their mind to it. Um, but, um, I mean, Jimmy Butler and uh, Miami Heat playing out of their mind right now. Um, they playing like they, they don't have anything to lose. Like, they just a bunch of dogs out there, a bunch of brothers trying to they make it to that. the finals and go right. to, you know, make, make it to the championship and, and win it all. So, um, it's going to be a tough battle uh, for Boston. But, you know, I don't, try to put, I don't put nothing past nobody. Uh, Jason Tatum's an awesome player, him and Jalen Brown. So, uh, you know, they just got to come together and put it together and, and just play as a team like the Miami Heat are doing. But your gut feeling is the Heat will figure a way to get this yes, done before seven games. Right, yes, yeah. sir, because three games in a row, um, four games in a row after yesterday is, is going to be pretty tough. Yeah. All right, back to football, back to the Seahawks, back to last year. Your, your team had a very good year, but at any point did you feel like you missed Russell Wilson on the field, on the scoreboard? Did you miss him at all? Um Seeing him run out of that tunnel when we played yeah. him the first game, I was like, dang, that's crazy just seeing yeah. him in another jersey. Um, I know I've only been there for three years of his career, but, uh, you know, just that was weird to me. Um, but after that, nah. I mean, you know, Russ is playing for the Denver Broncos. I played for the Seattle Seahawks. We 
we're not brothers at that point. <laughs> like, I'm trying to win. Yeah. How, how surprised were you that how well Gino played? Um, he'd been around the league, had bounced around, really hadn't had a real fair opportunity or stable opportunity to become a starter. He gets this job, and all of a sudden he parlays that, goes to the Pro Bowl, parlays that into a big contract. How surprised were you? given what you had seen in him in practice, that he was able to play as well as he did? Um, I mean, I really wasn't surprised because okay. he's been doing that with the scout team. Okay. And, and he's shown that leadership, uh, you know, throughout my first three years there. And then when he got his opportunity, he flew out to Dallas to throw with Tyler. He flew out to L.A. to throw with me, to chill with me. Like, you could see the effort he was wow. putting in to try to, mm. try to be the guy and try to be the leader, um, you know, that everybody um, expected him to be. Um, and during the season, he didn't waver that at all. Like, he was still the first one to the facility, still watching film, still training. Like, he was the starter. And, you know, consistency is the, the biggest thing, um, you know, to me um, and in the league. So he was showing consistency week in and week out. And, I mean, he reaped the benefits from it. I, it didn't surprise me at all. When you look at you, okay, no more Russell Wilson, no more B-Wags. You're, you're basically the senior, the elder statesman now. How much more of a leadership role have you taken under your wing that says, okay, now I'm the new leader of the team now? Right. Um, I think I tried to do it too much last year. Okay. Tried to, tried to mimic too much of Bobby and Russ when, you know, I'm, I'm me. I, I can't mimic them right. uh, and what they've established or built the foundation for 10 years there. Okay. Um, so I think I got caught up in trying to be too much of a vocal leader. Oh, okay. And it That's not who you are, no, though. No, exactly. No, I'm, I'm a leader by example. I right. go out there and I work hard and, you know, if you're going to follow me, you're going to follow me. Or if you're not, you're going to get left to the uh, left by the wayside. Okay. So um, I think this, toward the end of last year, um, I just shoved and just started playing football. And this year when I flew back up to Seattle and started training with the rookies and started training with the team, that's all I did was just shut up and just start working and showed mm. people how I worked. And, um, I mean, it, it just turned out way better for me this time uh, than it did last year. Mm. Do you talk at all during games to the people who are trying to cover you? Uh, if they started, yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't ever go out there okay. trying to start yeah. talking, but if they... Because that, they that guy, he started it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finished. Right. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking at your numbers. I mean, you came in and your draft class was A.J. Brown, Debo, McLaurin, Marquise Brown, Hunter Renfro. And games played, your first. Targets, your first. Receptions, your first. Receiving yards, your second. Uh, receiving touchdowns, you're tied for first. When you look at your draft class and you see where you are, you're like, how is there more? What, what's left for Debo? Because when they talk about top receivers, you hear Devontae, you hear uh, Justin Jefferson, you hear Jamar Chase, you hear Tyreek Hill. How does DK Metcalf get his name when they talk about best receivers in the NFL? Um, I mean, I think that's personal opinion in, okay. in my book. Um, I'm, the, I'm not trying to please anybody to be the best receiver in the league. I know who I am, and okay. I know the DBs that have to cover me every Sunday they know who I am, too. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's all I care about is just going out there and just opposing my will on everybody that, that steps in front of me because everybody else watching TV, they, they don't, really don't know what I do and what goes into actually a game plan or, a, or you know, uh, establishing yourself as a, as a top receiver in the league. So right. I know who I am as a person. You know, they got this thing, uh, uh, Mahomes and Travis Kelsey against, who, who are they play? Uh, Steph and, and Clay. In golf. Golf. Yeah. Can we, what about the race? Mm -hmm. DK Metcalf versus Tyreek. Tyreek said he been calling you, say he been DMing you. He been trying to get this race. He say he want this race because he, he tired of people saying somebody else other than Tyreek Hill is the fastest man in the NFL. Look, my people reached out to his people. Just mm -hmm. couldn't come to an agreement. I've really? been trying to come, into a, come huh. to an agreement for two years now. Skip, you heard, so hold on, you Give yeah, with the camera. Yeah, that's your camera, you can, right, there. Yeah, your yeah, camera right there. Yeah. Look at that camera, Tyree. Right. We've been trying to come to an agreement for two years. Just ain't worked out. You see me running the track meet. I didn't race against no 30 year olds, but <laughs> I raced against some real track and field athletes. So whenever you want to do that and hop on the track. What, what are the know. issues? Why why can't you come to an agreement? Um, two, they they trying to do it during July. That's uh, that's too close to the season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to. You ain't trying to pull it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's not where it's like no, no, queer no, no. or no, okay, right, it's yeah. just the month. I don't know, yeah. DK. I don't know, DK. I mean, if I, you know, I got a little money. You know, I got like five, ten dollars. I'm gonna have to slide my hammer on a little, little reek. <laughs> I got to might have to go over to Georgia, boy. Yeah, no. I mean, you might be a little bit too big. I know you trimmed down a little, little bit, not yeah. too much, to run in that race. I don't know it at two thirty-five. <sighs> a lot of people don't know I was two forty when I ran that. So. You two forty mm. when you? Yes, sir. Mm. 
I don't know Tyreek. I'm having to slide my money back on over here to DK. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Tyreek weigh now? Like about 195. 195 and 190 soaking wet with work boots on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, appreciate, appreciate you, bro. Sir. Thank you, thank Way you. Best of luck. Stay healthy, man. Yes, I appreciate it. I'd put my money on you, DK. I'll see you on the field next season. Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us this morning. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.